here's a representation of a Roman abacus uh, with ones, fives, tens, fifties, hundreds, five hundreds, and thousands. Notice it sort of looks like the Japanese soroban in terms of place values. To represent this number, 267, it's two C's, an L, X, V, and two I's. Not very difficult to represent this number. Where you do need to be careful is if your numeral has subtractive pairs, such as this here. The C is not a problem. XL, I don't want to put a bead in each place here because that would mean 60, but XL actually means 40. So what I'll do is I'll put four beans on the X line. Same with IV, it actually means four, and so I'll put four beans there. We can add Roman numerals using the Roman numeral abacus, uh, such as this statement here. I've got one M in the first add end, two C's, an X, a V, and two I's. No subtractive pairs in this numeral. Uh, the next one also has no subtractive pairs. Three C's, Uh, an L, two X's, a V, and two I's. Now I'll go through and see where I have too much of something. Uh, four on the I's, that's okay. Uh, two fives, two V's actually is one ten. Four on the tens, that's okay. One fifty's okay. One, two, three, four, five C's is actually the same as a D. And so the sum here, I've got M, I've got D. This row actually is 90, and so instead of writing it as an L and four X's, I'm actually going to put XC for 90 and then with the four I's, I'm actually going to write IV. To subtract. Again, these numerals I gave you have no subtractive pairs, so they're fairly easy to represent. L, X, V, I, which is 66, minus 32. Uh, to take away the two, I only have one in the eyes, so I can break this five down and exchange it for five ones. And then take away two of them. To take away three X's, I only have one in the X, so I'll exchange this L for five X's. and take away three of them. And now my difference is three X's and four I's. Now I'm really going to write those four I's as IV.